Hey, I'm watching Say by the Bear. So today's video is gonna be a little bit different because it falls coming up. And we're really excited about that. And the one thing that has me the most excited because fall's coming up is more Peanuts merchandise. The Peanuts merchandise is coming out of the woodwork, finally. If you know me, you know I love anything Peanuts. Someone is banging on the door. I don't know what's happening next door. If anything has a Snoopy, has a little Charlie Brown on it. I will be inclined to purchase it. I wanted to go to a few stores around here and just count up the exact number of Peanuts merchandise that I can find because I haven't really been shopping lately and I don't really know what there is out there. It's already 3 p.m. but for the rest of the day, we'll be searching. I have a list on my phone of all the places that I want to go and search for it. I'm gonna take a picture of each thing and we will count up as many things as possible. I have a few goals too. I wanna find clothing, home, stationery, kids, pet, and food. Something, that was not five things, that was more than five. But I'm expecting a lot of PJ pants, dish towels, love a good dish towel. That's what I'm expecting to find, but we'll see if we find any like hidden gems. And I know there's a new Vera Bradley collection with peanuts, and I think I know of the place that sell, sells Vera Bradley around here. Join along, and let's go. That got me hyped. Let's go. Lighting is awesome. Okay, so we're starting at the mall because I think this is the first place that's gonna close. I look like I'm in a tunnel right now. There we go. Here we go. Oh. Our mall is one of those that I'm like shocked that it hasn't just completely shut down. So I haven't been to this mall in like probably six months. So at least, probably maybe a year. <laughs> And there are like three people in there at all times. It's really awkward. Anyway, so we'll go in here. We have a few stores that I think will have some goods. So I like have to make this stop though. Like it's so hard and tough for me going to the mall. But okay, let's go before I have a heat stroke in the car. So I just left the mall, it wasn't that bad, except I was breaking a sweat for some reason. It's 82 degrees, and for some reason, I don't think there was one singular AC on in there. Pretty successful, I would say. 11 in total in the mall. I went into Dillard's because I knew that they had Vera Bradley stuff, and I knew that there was a Peanuts Vera Bradley collaboration. I walked in there, and I got a little sad because I was like, I don't see it. But then they had the mother load. And then I randomly went into Belk and saw one singular t-shirt, or it was like a sweatshirt. And I went in American Eagle because I had seen on TikTok like they had pajama pants and stuff that were cute, but I didn't see any in there. So 11 total so far is pretty good because, I mean, Dillard's really pulled through for us because they had backpacks, bags, wallets, like little makeup bags. I want that little well, I would put makeup in it, like a little bag that has Charlie Brown trying to kick the football and Lucy holding it. So cute. There were like four total people in the mall. And for some reason, I'm the type of person that I would rather be in a huge group of people and just in a sea of people than it be like people trickled here and there. 
and like be in a tiny group of people and like be the only person in a store being the only person in a store is my worst fear because that's why I can't go into boutiques 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 because I'm like you're almost guaranteed to be the only shopper in that store and if you don't buy anything you got to take that walk of shame out the door so okay so next we're gonna go to it's kind of like a local store so I won't say the name of it but I have a feeling that they might have something there and they'll probably close soon Okay, well, no luck in there either. <laughs> I hadn't been in there in so long, and it's like packed with stuff. And I saw that stock room, boxes stacked on boxes. I know those employees are stressed. This place is mostly like Southern girl going to a football game store, which live, laugh, love, loving it. But they didn't have any Snoopy. That's not their vibe in there. And I didn't really think about that. We'll just forget that and move forward. So next, I think I'm going to go to Hobby Lobby. I don't really know if they will have peanut stuff. But we might as well just go look. I'm trying to go to the places that will probably close the soonest. Let's go to Hob Lob. My heart rate lowered as soon as I got in there. It's such a beautiful place, honestly. So I did find a few things in there. I found a couple calendars. There was like a little encouragement notes thing, a little plush, a little Christmas calendar. Is she just gonna put her buggy in between those two cars? Queen, go for it. Most of the things in there were Christmas. And then this little mug, and then my feet in the picture. Thank you, awesome. And then that puzzle. I actually have that puzzle and have done it. Yeah, I've done a thousand piece puzzle. I know. I'm awesome. But guess what else I found in there that was a hidden gem, but I didn't take a picture of it because I was scared that someone would say something to me. They had cream savers. If you've seen my snack video, you know how meaningful this is to me and how beautiful this is. They not only had the strawberry flavor, they had the orange flavor. Hobby Lobby has the N11. Oh, I thought we were not gonna beat Dillard's, but we did. Okay, so that's a total of 22 things so far, and we've only been at it for two hours. But I didn't see any fall peanut stuff in there. It was all Christmas stuff. I was kind of hoping to find some fall stuff that I would not purchase myself. I kind of want to go in PetSmart just to see if they have like dog or cat clothes that are peanuts. I don't think they do, but I guess we'll just go in there. Maybe we can look at the fishies, see if they have any keys in there. PetSmart was a bust. You know how guys are like, the ratio's off, like this is a bad ratio, like at parties. Well, the ratio is off here with employees and customers there are so many employees I don't know why I just feel so self-conscious with like there are a lot of employees and not many people there I'm just like the ratios off here you know so we're gonna go try to rack up some points here because my goal was actually like a hundred and <laughs> I don't we're only at 22 which is pretty good actually we're gonna hit the mother load and I know there has to be stuff here. TJ Maxx. Every time I go, I have to fight away the demons to not purchase every single peanuts merchandise item. Okay, I almost got hit by a car too, so that's a good start here. I think we're gonna hit the mother load here. And I'm excited and I love TJ Maxx anyway so it's just good a good day all around and then I think we'll get some sushi at some point because today 
I think is $5 sushi at Publix because I love my Publix sushi. Okay, well, apparently the mother load is quite literally three things. It was all like Thanksgiving stuff. Maybe if I had gotten there a little bit earlier in the year, they would have had Halloween stuff. The lot you they were not low on Hello Kitty stuff though. They had Hello Kitty, Disney, like if I was doing a Disney thing or like a Mickey Mouse girly, I would not have been hurting to get a hundred. Okay, I think we're gonna go to Kohl's. I think they'll have something. I don't know though. I can't trust my own instinct now. And it smelled the last two places. Like I went to the bathroom in Hobby Lobby and someone someone had their, had a time in there and then I was on an aisle with this lady and like I knew know that it was her that made it smell um but I felt bad so I just walked off and didn't want to embarrass her so maybe it'll smell good at Kohl's The camera might in fact fall, but here we go. Yep. Okay, so I went to Kohl's and I found eight things. We won't have to mention that four of them were cards and three of them were slightly different t-shirts. We won't mention that. So now we're at 33. Pretty good for going to, how many places have we been so far? Seven, eight places? <laughs> Feels like it. It really does feel like it. I have actually shopped till I drop. I actually just looked till I drop because I didn't buy anything except for some sushi from Publix. Considering the total, I don't think it was. Yeah, it was not a $5 sushi day. But then I got some barbecue flake toilets. Gotta get some of that. I usually have it with like chips or something and I didn't really have any chips here. So I got the spicy grilled salmon rolls salmon. i'm gonna take a little break eat this up eat it eat it up and then we'll continue so i'm gonna go in target i was in target yesterday and i don't remember if they had a singular peanuts item but we'll find out expected it to all be out part of it was out and that really helped me because there was a big section with some snoopy stuff snoopy i think i'm kind of like in the in-between stage where i'm a little too late which is wild to say also a little too late for the halloween stuff but a little too early for the christmas stuff and usually peanut stuff is like holiday themed yes we got it we got it though there were like 17 things at walmart that i found i realized that most most of the things i found today were t-shirts snoopy usually you can slap on a t-shirt say something about being lazy put that on the shelves but we did reach a big number and you want to know what that number is if I counted it correctly or if you've added it up already yourself and you're really fast at math, let's get a drum roll. 52. 52 things. This has been the angle for the whole video. I've just been like, hey. We're done. We're back at the apartment. I think this shirt is cute at um, Walmart. I thought that shirt was pretty cute that you can see. Peanuts, if you're watching this, please send me your Vera Bradley stuff. Please send me your Vera Bradley stuff. 
I went a total of 10 places and I found 52 items that were peanuts. The place that had the most by far was Walmart with 17. And second place was Hobby Lobby with only 11. So, Walmart. This is why I'm a Walmart girly. It's unfortunately my safe haven at this point. Like, I'm so sorry. Like, I didn't feel as comfortable going in any of these stores as I do Walmart. Because I don't go in, like, a lot of random stores. I just, like, don't really do that. But Walmart, she's my safe haven. Well, thanks for watching, and let me know which peanut thing's your favorite.